there was this woman named Barbara and every summer she had a ritual. She would drive to New England and go for a hike in the woods. She loved this beautiful woods. And then she would drive into this town in, in New England and go get herself a scoop of ice cream, two scoops, chocolate ice cream, in this beautiful old fashioned ice cream parlor. Well, it just so happened that Paul Newman used to spend his summers in this town. And she loved Paul Newman. So she went, never saw him, never ever saw him. She went on her hike one summer, beautiful hike, drives into town, goes into the ice cream parlor. Who's sitting there? Paul Newman. She goes, oh my God, it's Paul Newman. I can't believe it. He's actually here. I'm so excited. I love him. Calm down, Barbara. You're a happily married woman. You can do this. You can handle this. So she goes over to the counter and she buys herself her two scoops of chocolate ice cream and she pays. She feels really good and she walks back to her car and she gets there and she looks down and all she has is her change. So she goes back into the ice cream parlor, figuring they put it in a little stand, the two scoops, and she says, excuse me, I left my ice cream cone here and they go, we don't understand, we don't know. So she starts to walk out and Paul Newman, with those beautiful blue eyes and a big smile, looks at her and he says, you put it in your purse. <laughs> now why did I tell you that story? I think it's a fun story and I love it, but the truth is I told you that story because human beings are hardwired to love stories. We have been telling stories for thousands of years. Cave dwellers drew stories. We would sit around fires and tell stories. Religious leaders tell stories. Politicians tell stories. So then why do we get up and give presentations with just PowerPoint and data? We need stories. We need to share our stories. Stories move us. So the next time you're giving a presentation, think about how can I tell a story to move my audience? This story is good because it has character and conflict and a twist. That makes a really good story. The second part of the reason I'm telling you this is because what do you think that story is really about? It's really about being present. The two greatest gifts that you can give your audience is a beautiful story and your presence. I want you to promise me one thing. At the end of this day, after listening to all the stories that you're gonna hear, tell one of them, the one that moved you, the one that you really wanna share, tell that to one person. Will you do that for me? Thank you so much. Thank you.